Little coats of pearl gray on and all. And did uh, four coats of undercoat. Put two on and sanded it down pretty far to get her smooth and put two more on. And lightly sanded that and then two coats of uh, pearl gray. And she's back turned over now. Got my window hole cut. And I've been working up in the cabin area. That's uh, fiber, the bottom is all fiberglass with six ounce cloth going about uh, two to three inches up on the sides. And the sides are soaked with resin, two coats of resin. Four decks poured in. Got one side of my rudder piece is glass. Now I'm working on the stern compartment. I got these pieces in here to support the hatch framing. And uh, these are two by twos, one and a half by one and a half square. The two in the middle will be uh, supports for the hatch combing. And then I'm putting another one on each side because uh, this is only going to be quarter inch plywood decking and uh, I'll be coming up boarding probably on the stern on this side I'm going to have a mizzen on the starboard side and uh, I'm probably going to have a little fold down boarding ladder on the port side this is where I'll be scrambling back on board and I want to be able to sit up here so I'm uh, going to add a piece there and I'm I'm doing the way I like to do my decking. I'm doing like a mortise and tenon joint here. I got that notched out. And then I'll notch the end of the, the fore and aft frame to go down into that. And I'll, uh, I'll go over how I cut those notches. I've gone uh, three quarters of an inch, notching it halfway down, halfway back. And then I'll notch when I do these timbers in. I'll also I'll not, I'll cut a notch in here so that it sets into the notch, overlaps everything, and I can put a screw right down through there. My little back saw, I cut a nut, cut a line, cut this line, corner to corner. This corner. Then I just go down a little bit at a time. My line down in there. And along here. I'm gonna try to do it too much because I don't want it to split. And the same thing down here. Let me just peel a layer out. I just keep doing that basically.
Yeah, it's almost there. And I can clean it up. I use my chisel as a scraper. Clean it up. It's going to be all plastered up with glue. My cabin area is all coated with the two coats of the epoxy primer. And I'm preparing the stern storage compartment for resin and glass. I've got in my deck support pieces there. And I've got all this filleted. I added a piece of plywood there to bolt the rudder mounts to. The rudder gudgeons. That rudders take a real beating on these things. But I run into a little trick doing these fillets. It's just too good to pass up. A couple of tricks really. One thing I do is I save my old uh, gloves from glassing that are all covered with resin and everything because when you're sanding these things it really wears your fingers down. So with these resin sole gloves I can sand these fillets. I'm not tearing my fingers up so bad but uh, another thing I've been doing especially for getting in these corners where it's really hard to get it smooth out I've got a Dremel tool here. It's got a little three-quarter inch drum sander fitting on the end, which is the same radius as my tool that I used to spread them with. Just about ready to lay some glass and resin. I'm going to do this the same way I did the forward compartment. Put a piece of uh, cloth, six ounce cloth, down on the bottom. Protect the bottom. We're going to be throwing stuff in here and uh, protect the wood and seal it. And it'll come up on the edges a little bit. And the sides, I'm just going to resin soak and the coat of primer on. Then I'll be ready to paint this too. These are the deck supports for that back deck.